What's going on everybody? Uh, I am sorry if the video is gonna be a little shaky today because I don't know where my tripod went and I'm holding it with my hand right now. But uh, I will be mounting the RPO funds on today and I have two still in my trunk from the VTech Club event. I haven't taken them out yet. Pretty much packed, I've been, mean, not packed, it's been busy because I had more union and VTech Club of course, VTech Club then more union, I mean. I need to get those out of the trunk and then mount them on the car because what I'm going to do is actually get the TEs refinished. Uh, I'm gonna get them repowered coated in white and a set of new stickers for them. They're pretty beat, that's why. You guys can't really see in the video, but um, after the event, brake dust got uh, caked onto the paint. There you go. And I'm gonna get them refinished in white. Same with the bend that I have in the front. There. I'm gonna get the bend fixed, because it is a little irritating when I see it, but for now, I'm just gonna be mounting the RPF ones. I'm sorry if my nose is running. It's that time of the month. So these are gonna be the rears. The fronts are actually in my trunk still, which I need to take out. Yeah, I'm kind of excited to put these on just for daily. I mean, wider tires too. The wheels are wider compared to the T's because they're fit to my seventh, they're fit to my eight, and yada yada yada. So I'm gonna grab this, grab the ones out of the trunk and uh, start jacking up car and uh, take out the spacers, of course, because I'm gonna be running these with no spacers. So let's go. These are gonna be the fronts. The rears are still over there. I just gotta uh, jack up the car and then, y'all hold on a second. I'm trying to use this damn tripod. Dude, I need to go buy another tripod. Oh my God. I was trying to use that for a bit, <laughs> but it is not working out right now for me. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave that there. But um, yeah, I'm gonna start jacking up the car, take off the wheels. Let's see what the RPF ones look like on the car. The butterflies on my insides have all gone away You're not along for the danger but I'm here to stay I took my teeth off. This is that one right there. And it says a lot of... What is it? Leftover rub from the track. You guys, you guys can see. Thanks. Yeah, these tires... I've done three events on them and they're pretty like fucking good tires I really recommend them to a lot of people but you know those are gonna be off for daily and I need to get these refinished you guys can see closer there you guys go and the inside too yeah let's just put the RPF one on I know for a fact the RPF ones are gonna clear the calipers These are the first time I mounted them. If you guys could somewhat see, there's literally, the power coating is still on where the lug nuts go. So I'm the first one to mount these. Oh wait, hold on, okay. You guys don't know what this is, is you put it on the back of your wheel with the correct hub bore size. So when you put the wheels on, they're always centered. So they go on the hub first and then you put the rim on or you put it put on the rim. And the hub ring keeps it in place like that. And I gotta say, it is really hot today. I'm sweating already and it's like early in the morning, it's 9 o'clock. 9.51 and it's 80 degrees. The other day it was like, I think 101. Two days ago it was 101. They look really nice. That's what they look like. I, I didn't drop the car yet because I had to put the rears on. It, it clears the calipers, of course. Just a little bit of clearance in the center spoke, but it's okay. Damn, they look really nice, to be honest with you. Serve on silver. But, to be honest, those TEs, always the best setup. TEs are always the good shit. RPF ones, they're good too, but you know, I still love the TEs. These could just, they just sit here and rot. <laughs> well, not rot, but I'll drive with them. And these are 225-45, so they're a lot wider than those, as you guys could. So let's see, there's my spring. And Buddy Club camera kits. Alright, let's get the... Damn it. Let's get the rears on, and then drop the car down, see what it looks like. And yeah, let's get it going. Nice. 
Now, I'm not too sure if these will fit the rears because before when I test fitted them off uh, a while back with the same tires, I was running a little more camber, but right now I'm running a little less camber. So hopefully it'll fit. Oh. Moment of truth, see if my camera gets me good. I wish my camera gets me good. Uh, hold on a second. Missing hub rings. Uh, okay, I don't know where my hub rings are, but it's not like I really need it. Here we go. Hmm, not too sure. This is pretty close to my uh, quarter panel, but uh, we'll see once we drop the car down on it. And then I'm gonna go for a little drive and see how uh, how the car feels. Don't worry, I'm torquing them after. I just do that because I don't want to screw it in all the way by hand. And just drop the car down. Moment of truth. Oops, dropped it really hard. I can hear my gas tank. They look okay, I don't think they're on rub. Front. A little more uh, inward compared to T's because the T's do have spacers, but wow, they look pretty good. I like, I like. Ooh, damn. <laughs> Get that sticky icky from the track. So peace out to these. Why not? Peace out. They'll be uh, getting refinished, so they'll look a lot better compared now where they're brake dust stained for days. And I actually kind of like how the R pit ones look like on my car. It just ah, the concave looks so good on the car. Like check it out. It looks really really good, right? Look at that. Oh my god. Well, this side's a little higher because my drive is a bit slanted. Wow. Damn, that, that looks really good. But overall, I still love the TEs and I will be only tracking on the TEs. The RP ones, I'm going to be using as dailies. Um, these tires, the RD Center one that I have on the TEs right now, I don't want to daily on them because they're just wasting their life on them. And they're not expensive, but they're, they don't last long. I'm just stacking them up over there. But I'm going to leave one in my car just in case I need a spare because you never know when you need a spare. I'm just going to finish mounting up all of these and uh, oh, I gotta put the side back on and don't forget to torque your wheels down. You don't want your wheel flying off when you're driving. Don't forget 85, I do 85, but don't forget. Oh shit, that shit up to 85. I do 85, I mean it's 80, but I do 85. Just in case, you know, five extra pounds, not that much. And this is the Craftsman uh, brake bar. I mean, what the hell, brake bar, torque wrench. You use Harbor Freight. The Harbor Freight ones are actually pretty accurate, but I'm so used to this one and I have this always in the garage. Anywhere you go. Side skirts are back on, and this is what it looks like with the side skirts. I say it looks pretty aggressive, and it's not, it's really simple. It's nothing. Hmm, I think the tires make it look a little more aggressive, but. I don't know. But thanks, LJ, for the wheels. Uh, I'm gonna I'm a quickly do the other side because it is getting pretty damn hot right now. And I want to go get some coffee because I'm food. I'm hungry. Um, so it's gonna be a quick time lapse from on the driver's side. Dude, I'm so tired. The way I I'm 
ones to be in my trunk uh, as a spare. And then sometime next week, I'm gonna get the tires dismounted and get them refinished in white. But uh, for now, they're just gonna sit here. Transferring all the files from the SD card and the camera to the Mac, you never know when you lose all the footage and that's all the clips are recorded and gotta edit. But I got a lot, got a lot more to edit. Well, film, because I'm gonna film the car uh, somewhere else not in the garage area. I'm gonna bring it out and then show you guys pretty much like a walk around the car on the RPF ones because I'm looking at it right now and I really actually like the fitment and the wheels itself. So, but I'm still getting, I'm still gonna get the uh, tees refinished uh, to get it put back on the car when events do come up. But for now, like I really dig the RPF ones. Like, damn it, bulldozer! All right, so I'm. I'm gonna go for a little drive, go get some coffee and some food. I haven't ate. It's 10 o'clock right now and I started filming around like 8.30ish. So, let's do that. Oh yeah, also, my friend Melvin from FF Fanatic, uh, he's selling these stickers. You guys see, I do have a giant one on the back of my rear bumper. And um, check out their page, it's FF Fanatic. Uh, sorry, I kind of crushed it. I'm gonna put it in my glove box, Melvin, my bad. And if you're watching this video, I'll probably just put it right here on the Mac since I already have a big ass one on the car. Uh, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I use Instagram a lot and I just post up a photo of the car on the tees. So if you guys are following me on Instagram, you guys will get um, notified first on what I do to my car. And there's RPF1s and everybody loves RPF1s. I'll admit they do look good on the car, but I forever love TEs, TE37s, and fuck these construction trucks. But yeah, so if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, keep up there on my Instagram, because I do post up a lot of stuff. Like at the track, and when I'm filming, and all this and that. So yeah, my Instagram link's always in the end of the video. Yeah, I think that's it for this video. Uh, I need to go move, buy a new tripod. I don't know what happened to my Joby. It got lost or something. What motivates me to actually make these videos is actually a lot of you guys, because on my Instagram, um, you guys will always be asking me how I do this and that, and that's how I started the YouTube channel, by doing DIYs and tutorials for people that keep asking. Next thing I started, I started noticing that the channel was growing. It's not a lot, but you know, it is getting somewhere. So that's why I continue making videos, and I enjoy making these videos. I love editing, get to see like, <laughs> when I mess up talking and everything and all that. Yeah, so thanks guys for watching my videos and so staying tuned, you know. And I want to make a Q&A video, so at the end of this video, or when you guys do get this far in the video, if anything, ask me questions. Ask me questions and I'll make a separate video for it. So I'll make a Q&A video. So you guys guys me like, where your questions? Like, uh, how do I get money? Or where do I buy these parts at? How do I do this? How do you do that? And what inspires me and stuff? So just, just ask for food, ask away, and then I'll answer them in a separate video. But overall, this video is the end of it. Uh, gotta start editing on my computer right now. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, dislike, up to you guys. And peace. Mm -hmm.